So I feel like that this practice mode, like every single game we do, we learn a little bit more about how to make the practice mode a little bit better. Yep. And this year, this is like by far the best practice mode we've done. Yeah, we we talked to some of the competitive players too to see what it is that they really want to help them get better in our game and right. we, um, figure out better setups and whatnot. So we definitely listen to them and put some of that stuff in too. Yeah, like one of the tough things with fighting games, I think, is like bridging that gap between like you know not quite casual but not quite like you know tournament level. And uh, this is a great place to kind of go in and, and um, to be able to kind of like you know learn those. Uh, so that, that bridge that right. Absolutely. Now, Bone Shaper Shinnick obviously uses. Yeah, he can summon. Um, bones. Yeah, he can summon. <laughs> the, um, he can summon different weapons. So he's got this like, little sickle. Bone sickle. Bone sickle. Hashtag bone sickle. That's that little combo of the guy standing yeah. next to you. Um, he, um, he also has this um, this little uh, this little low poke. It's a very good low poke that you can go into. Especially with um, And then Bone Shaker, he can. Uh, s s uh, slam the uh, bicycle on the ground, which is actually a down pound, which it's uh, new on the screen. And he also has the scoop move, which slams the opponent over, which is a new set of combos. Nice. And he has to the pops the guy over. Awesome. I think his amulet gets changed as well, isn't it? Yeah, his yeah, amulet, so he actually uses the, the little uh, um, the weapon that he has, yeah, yeah. The, the handle that he has that, that forms into the other weapon, he actually uses it to shoot a. Awesome. Maybe we could see an x-ray? Ooh, I don't know if they're ready for that. You guys ready for that? Ready for I don't it. know. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right first, I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the misanimation for the x-ray just because it's awesome. He summons his little bone cage which traps your opponent, and that actually tracks to where the opponent's currently located. Um, so if your opponent's like running away from you or up close, it's like, oh, this x-ray and it gets him. Backhand. You thought he was done. No. No, nope, not, no. not done. Let's go to his third variation. Steal moves from his opponents. So against Sub-Zero, if I land this move, um, you notice that my uh, my runes change color on my outfit. So that means that I've, I now have a stored, a stolen special move. So with this one, he actually steals the Ice Ball from Sub-Zero. And then every character, he steals a different yeah, move from. Yeah, a different move from. So if you play as Imposter Shin, it can be best for you to Learn, you can learn different combos yeah. for every single character yeah. you and, play. And, and it's going to be very matchup dependent where sometimes Impostor will be very good in some matchups and, and um, in other matches it might not be as good. But um, for like Sub-Zero example, you can combo into the move steal and then now I have a, um, a stolen ice ball. Um, and then you can actually combo. Uh, Cool. So, or something like that, you could probably freeze them like a and just go right back into a posture again. And you know, you could either combo after it or just use it as a yeah, way to kind of reload the ice, the ice ball again yeah. uh, to keep pressure. Yeah, so there would be a lot of setups to these. Um, and then you can use practice mode, of course, to figure out the setups. Cool. All right, so what's the next one? <clears throat> um, another little bonus practice mode is you can quickly switch out variations. Um, so, right now, we're going to go to Bone Shaper and we'll switch out Sub Zero to Unbreakable. That's yeah, just a, a quick load, and then you're back with the new variations. Yep. Mancers. And you'll notice he's got these skeleton arms now too, which is a uh, visual variation, yep. right? Yep, and then uh, in Necromancer, you can summon uh, um, some bones. You just gotta figure out how to do them. Oh, the flick. <laughs> so dirty. <laughs> it's so it's insulting. Flips him away. Yep, and he's got this slam move, which, uh, which also tracks where the opponent is. It doesn't block it over, but it's pretty slow to come out, so you can figure out ways to get out of it. And of course he has a grab, which also tracks where your opponent is, and you can do side combos. Which is like classic Shinnok too. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Can you, can you uh, enhance that move? Yep. Can enhance it with the first Bounce, you have to get a little more, a little more combo action. Bam. Nice. Cool. Yeah, well, we're gonna Blanche. Blanche! Blanche 2.0! Oh. Still feel bad for her every time. Um, cool. Is there anything else, really? Um, no, in Bone Chamber, that's pretty much it. This just gains the, uh, the, uh, the new Bone Special Moves. Awesome. Gotcha. Cool. Well, excellent. Um, so those are our three characters for today. Uh, we're gonna put, you know, you, you, we're social up again for you guys. You're free to stick around if you'd like. Yeah.